We'll be news from outer space mm -hmm. and Paul Gross is the man to tell us all about it. <laughs> and we're talking about way, way out in space in a galaxy far, far away, Paul. What's this all about? Yeah, it's way out there. We're talking about this is the first time that scientists have, scientists have ever directly imaged a galaxy in the process of dying. And by the way, this is also a great example of how scientists take raw data and get it to you in a version that you can understand it. So let's take a look at the first two images. And these were provided to me by the lead scientist on the research team, Ana Glacia Puglia. And the image on the left is the raw image from the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, it may not look like much to you, but to the scientists on the research teams at the Commission for Atomic Energy and Alternative Energies, which, by the way, is affiliated with the University of Paris Saclay and also at uh, Durham University, to those scientists, this shows the distribution of young stars in a galaxy that has merged with another galaxy. Now, the image on the right is a computer simulation showing the distribution of gas associated with the two galaxies. Put those together, and now we get this third image, which is an artist's concept of what we were seeing in the first two images, showing how one galaxy is ejecting half of its massive amount of star-forming gas at the astounding rate of, now get this, 10,000 of our entire sun's amount of gas per year. The reason this research is so important is that up until now, it was only thought that galaxies died, meaning stopped creating new stars, due to changes associated with the black hole near its center. But this, for the first time, shows that when two galaxies merge, one of them can literally kill the other one. Pretty cool stuff.